Facebook again. They won't let me on there. So I'm just going to put my name on and fucking and and whatever. I sent them my ID. I don't know if they're going to even let me in now because I said that uh, I went on a fucking Mark Zuckerberg rant and how he's a boy toy for Nambla. So I don't even know if they're going to allow me on Facebook anymore. But whatever. There you go, folks. October 12, 2013. Obama ousts top officers after nuke explodes in ocean off Charleston. By Sarsha Fowl and as reported to her Western subscribers. And this was also on Infowars and a couple other sites. And if you go and look up the people that were ousted that day, you can see that this is accurate. And if InfoWars is covering it, it's accurate. I don't give a fuck who Alex Jones works for. InfoWars information is accurate. And that's all I fucking care about. Comprende? A shocking new main intelligence directorate. Report circulating in the Kremlin today states that President Barack Obama, while in a rage, ousted four of the United States' top-ranking military officers after they refused to detonate a nuclear device in Charleston, just like I told you. According to the report, SMF not notified both President Putin and General Staff this past Tuesday, October 8th, that at 1.58 a.m. an atomic device was exploded in the seabed off the U.S. Atlantic Ocean, barely 620 miles from Charleston, causing a 4.5 magnitude earthquake that SMF experts equate to being 1,000 tons of TNT. This report notes that SMF experts are able in different are able to differentiate an earthquake from an atomic blast, and at the former and at the former the ground starts shaking slowly as plates slide against each other, and then the seismic activity slow picks up as the ground really starts to move. In an atomic explosion scenario, however, the initial blast is extremely powerful and the subsequent shaking of the ground grows progressively less severe as was the case on October 8th. The particular atomic bomb device used, this report continues, was a B6111 nuclear bomb low-yield earth-penetrating nuclear weapon, otherwise known as a mini-nuke, which was deployed by the Clinton administration in the post-Cold War era, but had been rejected for development by President Carter, Reagan, and Bush. The B6111 can penetrate and detonate below the Earth's surface, creating a massive shock wave capable of destroying underground targets. In tests, the bomb penetrates only 20 feet into dry earth, even when dropped from altitudes above 40,000 feet. But even this shallow penetration before detonation allows a much higher proportion of the explosion to transfer into ground shock relative to a surface burst. Critical note, this report says, are that many things Many warnings to this atomic blast were given prior to October 8th, including the highly influential InfoWars.com website, who on September 3rd reported it, which is where I got the fucking story in the first place. Not, it wasn't from Alex Jones or somebody, some, from some dude on the show. I think it was uh, Wayne Madsen. 
many other reports of an impending event engineered by the Obama regime to cause chaos in the United States. We had, likewise, reported on in our reports. The Pentagon warns to expect radical change in U.S. government soon. And Obama retreats to secret bunker as big event draws near. In the aftermath of the Obama regime's failed false flag nuclear attack on Charleston, was the president's unprecedented ousting of America's top two military nuclear commanders, U.S. Navy Vice Admiral Tim Giardina and U.S. Air Force Major General Michael Carey, and two of the U.S. Marines' top officers, Major General Charles Gerganis and Major General Greg Sturgeon. Admiral Giardina and General Carey, this report says, were ousted by Obama due to their uh, being officers responsible for leaking the information about this impending nuclear attack on Charleston, the generals began as inserted in, who in turn began leaking this information to various global intelligence sources like Stratfor, Stratfor, okay, <coughs> well, Admiral Jardina and General Kerry were the first to know Obama's transferring of nuclear weapons to Charleston outside the normal chain of command. GRU experts say in this report, Generals Gerganis and Sturdivant were asked with leading U.S. Marine troops from Camp Lejeune in North Carolina to begin the implementation of martial law after this false flag attack had taken place. Equally important to note, this report continues, is that further warning of this Obama machine false flag attack on Charleston was given this past August by South Dakota Senator Sheldon Songstad who warned of unprecedented actions being taken in FEMA Region 3, which includes D.C., in preparation for and included nine-week training course of U.N. peacekeepers in CONUS to learn urban warfare, English, and U.S. weapons systems being the fourth week of July for 6,000 troops to be completed by October 1st. Uh, $11 million in antibiotics to be delivered to FEMA Region 3 by October 1st, ordered by the CDC. FEMA purchased orders of over $14 million of MREs and heater meals to be delivered to Region 3 by October 1st. FEMA purchased orders for 22 million pouches of emergency water to be delivered to Region 3 by October 1st. FEMA purchases orders of $13.6 million for MREs and heater meals to be delivered October 1st to Austin. Um, 2,800 MRAPs must be delivered to DHS by October 1st. U.S. Senator Lindsey Graham further warned South Carolinians about the threat of a terrorist nuclear attack. Uh, on the same day that Infowars.com warned that high-level military revealed to them that nuclear warheads were being shipped to South Carolina from a major Texas Air Force base under an off-the-record black ops transfer, just like I said. Should I continue on? Well... Uh, Other predictable U.S. propaganda media organs loyal to Obama have reported that these military officers' firings were due to incompetence, gambling issues, and alcoholism. This GRU report notes that these pathetic excuses are to are to beyond belief to give credence to, as these four distinguished officers were beyond reproach and held the highest security clearances anyone could hold in the United States. So this guy, he bet four military officers. Of the highest fucking ranking and the highest intelligence, he let them go because one of them was an alcoholic. Right. He let them go because they wouldn't fire the fucking nuke. That's why he fired them. Because they're real fucking Americans. And whoever got this off of the fucking, out of Charleston and into the ocean, you better fucking thank your blessings for him. For them. Whatever the fuck happened. Nukes go missing. Nuke goes off. What's the conclusion you came to? Conclusion I came to is Obama tried to do this whole martial law for the entire country thing already. So you motherfuckers better keep your eyes open and your ears open. Take a look around. 
You never know. You might come up with something just by looking around and nobody else has seen. As you know, when people leak stuff, there's no telling where or how they will leak it. I've heard plenty of times, especially on coast to coast, where citizens have found stuff being, because people don't want anything linked, so they'll put it on somewhere else instead of, for instance, uh, sending it from a senator's office or some shit, you know, they'll give it to somebody independent and they'll upload it. But anyways, there you have it, folks. Okay, this is what does it mean dot com, world's largest English language news service, with over five hundred articles updated daily. So that's that. I can tell you right now, it's gonna be before the election. And it's gonna be Barack Obama again or Hillary Clinton. Just like I fucking been saying forever and ever. I fucking studied this shit in school, folks. I think I know what I'm talking about. Especially when I talk about it and then it happens. And I'm not the only one. There's thousands, probably millions of people who know this shit. I mean, I'm a fucking moron. I figured it out. You people need to show some fucking initiative here. I don't know if I'll be back on Facebook. Check me out on YouTube or... You could find me somewhere. God bless, carry on.